Executives at Fiat Chrysler want investiga- investors rather, to help them secure a merger with General Motors. According to the Wall Street Journal, Chrysler CEO believes the auto industry needs to consolidate and has its sights set on GM. HSBC, Europe's largest bank, is still weighing whether or not to move its headquarters out of the UK. But now the banking giant says it will cut 50,000 jobs in hopes of raising dividends. The bank says it also is pursuing growth in Asia by expanding business in China. Apple launches a new streaming music service. The company says the platform allows artists to share music directly with fans and includes a 24-7 radio station called Beats One. The company also announced that its Apple Pay service will be accepted at more than one million locations by next month. Global sales from McDonald's continue to fall, but customers in Europe, well, they're still loving it. Thanks to sales in the UK, Germany, and France, the fast food giant's golden arches continue to be golden. But here at home, they face growing competition from rising brands like Shake Shack. And Mickey D's isn't the only one. Pizza Hut is also in a slump. According to Business Insider, the company's attempt to reach millennials has failed. In fact, Greg Creed, CEO of the parent company Yum Brand, says Pizza Hut is focusing too much on millennials. Can't trust those millennials. Thanks, Miranda. Joining us right now to talk about the restaurant industry and finances as a whole is senior financial editor at MoneyNews.com, Tom Hutchinson. Tom, always good to talk to you. Great to be here, John. All right, let's take a look at McDonald's. The fast food industry, of course, has been going through some changes, and it hasn't worked out very well for McDonald's investors. Just hearing today also that former White House Press Secretary Robert Gibbs is going to join McDonald's as a progressive burger company. Some late developments. We can talk about that in a little bit. But American taste buds have been changing. The dining experience in this country has been changing. Can McDonald's keep up? Uh, Well, we'll see. You know, you have a big dominant market share like McDonald's is, and increasingly you find out uh, that to stay relevant in the rapidly changing world, you have to fight for it. Um, They're still doing good overseas because they're not as uh, burger obsessed uh, over there. And uh, McDonald's is uh, still a a nice guilty indulgence Europeans uh, secretly like to do. Uh, But McDonald's has an advantage uh, that some of its competition doesn't have, and that's uh, breakfast. Mm. And uh, there's a lot of things they can tweak and uh, I I think still be uh, still be right in there again. Yeah, we know that other restaurant chains like Taco Bell, in addition to selling alcohol, they're getting into the breakfast market. That seems to be a a very competitive place here. But also, when you look at McDonald's, they're facing this issue, taking a lot of heat from their employees on the minimum wage issue. Uh, And again, mentioning that Robert Gibbs is joining that company uh, under the auspices of being a progressive burger company or something like that. How does McDonald's deal with this minimum wage issue? Because that eventually could probably impact the consumers, right? Yeah, it sure could. I mean, they can tweak things around a little bit. Uh, Worst case scenario, raise costs a little bit. Um, it's a nagging issue, but I think the bigger issue is how can they adjust their American business to the fact that their food's pretty unhealthy and perceived as so. All right. Well, uh, let's talk they, about they, some they get other that options. one right. Let's talk about some other options out there because we look at McDonald's. On the other hand, though, you have places like Shake Shack, based in New York City, but expanding throughout the country, and Chipotle, which just about every right everywhere right now, they seem to be doing a little bit better. Uh, and I also hear a lot of investors buzzing about Shake Shack, especially. No question about it. Shake Shack has been phenomenal. They've, they, they've been the latest to capture the American burger imagination, uh, which is vast. And they have a good tasting burger, great name. Uh, Chipotle is tough too. They've offered really a whole nother regular meal choice. You know, they've uh, made Mexican mainstream and easy. Uh, and they're doing great as a result of it. But uh, even those places will find that maintaining that dominant market share in a fast-changing world is going to be tough. Um, right. They're going to be where McDonald's is not too long from now. Now, if you change your strategy, it can have side effects. Let's talk about Pizza Hut a little bit with about a minute left to go. They're trying to reach out to younger customers in a big way, adding so-called specialty crusts and premium toppings and sauces like honey sriracha on their menu. But the marketing move has not helped. And uh, Pizza Hut not doing very well, Tom. Uh, they're going to have to find a new strategy because millennials don't seem to be buying it. Well, they're going to have to find a new strategy because it was such a dumb idea. 
Uh, you know, let's put healthy stuff on top of pizza. You know, let's put healthy stuff on top of a uh, ice cream sundae. It's not a good idea. Uh, and, you know, appealing to millennials, it's kind of tough because they're really... Uh, Fickle, More than right? anything else, they're chameleons. Yeah. You know, you can do what they like right now and they change their taste in three years. Yeah, you know, you they reflect their times. Tough chasing millennials around these days. Hard to keep up. Tom, thanks as always. Good to see you. You can catch more of Tom's insight on moneynews.com. And of course, you can always uh, get a copy of his newsletter, The High Income Factor Report. Go to moneynews.com forward slash HIF. Again, moneynews.com forward slash HIF. Tom Hutchinson joining us. More to come here on Newsmax Now.